it's Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond. I'm here with Harriet Gould of Art Space Cleveland. And there's a trolley tour this weekend where you can see all the live work spaces that artists are in in Cleveland. And Harriet's going to tell us about it. You know, the tour is June 25th. It's a Saturday. It starts at noon. And you can catch the trolley, board the trolley at 1400 East 30th Street. Watch for the big tent. And our first stop will be Asia Town Plaza at noon to get a bun for the bus. It's really going to be very exciting and a unique experience okay. for you to see where artists live and work in the Asian St. Clair Superior neighborhood. So when you say get a bun for the bus, what do you mean by that? Well, when you go into the Asian Town Center, it's just a big, big supermarket okay. for, with all sorts of Asian food and they have a wonderful bakery there. Okay. And with buns in, all sorts of good things that you can grab for lunch to take on the bus. I see. also the Art Space Cleveland member art show is going to be there as well. Okay, so we start out at the Asian Plaza. I start out first stop, okay. Asia Town Center. And there is, um, what time did you say? Start at noon, so you can get your lunch and everything in. Okay, great. And uh, so we are actually in one of your spaces that is on the tour now, is that right? Right. Okay. You're in the 1400 building. It's okay. The studio of Bill Gould and myself. Okay. Bill is a watercolor oil painter that does scenes of Cleveland. Okay. And um, we've been living here for almost 11 years. It's been a long time, and we were one of the first to come into this area to live and work in these post-industrial buildings. So this is his work uh, that we can see, and yeah. you also live here, right? Right. Okay. Well, how about we take a look at the workspace? Okay. At the live space. All right. Okay, thanks. Follow me. Okay. So, Harriet, yeah. where are we now? We're in Bill's and my live space. Okay. It's one big space, which we've divided up into the bedroom, as you can see. We call this jokingly, lovingly, the honeymoon suite. Okay. And we have a bookcase behind us which has see-through shelves, so I can see the oh, sun yeah. come up in the morning and see this beautiful view we have of the city. Okay. And um, here we entertain friends. And <clears throat> this is Bill's uh, picture of the city. Okay. From the west side, from Edgewater Park, up high. All right. Bill's, so two, two panels. And so, um, oh yeah, we're on the other side of that shelf unit, okay. Right. Since there's no closets, we have these armoires or wardrobes. All the furniture here is from the 1950s. I see the uh, required Eames lounge chair here, right? right? Yeah, which, <laughs> right. And then this is your dining area, right? This is the dining area. Okay. And so it looks like you have a fantastic view of the city out the window here. It's um, it's quite a view, especially at night when all the buildings light up. Okay. And you can see the storms coming. It's oh, exciting. Oh yeah, from the west it's and exciting. off the lake. Yeah. yeah. A little, little excitement in our lives. Very cool. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay. So where are we now, Lauren? Um, right now we are outside in our garden. Okay. Um, these plants right here are kozo. This is a plant that you can make paper from. Okay. And this is about the height they get um, so far. Uh, we've had these. This is now a fourth or fifth year kozo plant. Okay. And last year we had our first harvest, which was awesome. It was after the first frost, so mid-November, and we cut these all the way down to the ground. As you can see down here, this is the height we cut them at. Oh, wow. So they've grown that much And already. they've grown that much. Um, mm -hmm. When it was cooler, they hadn't sprouted, but in the last couple weeks they've shot up. The leaves have come out. We have two varieties. We have two different types of leaves. But we had our harvest, we had um, interns and volunteers in, and there was a really long uh, hand process of 
um, cutting them down and steaming them, um, using so soda ash when you boiled them, peeling the bark, and you actually use the inner bark of the stalk. So you cut it down and you peel the bark off. The sticks aren't used for anything that's left, but you use that soft inner bark. You can hand beat it and then pull some really beautiful um, Eastern paper with it. So right here outside of the conservatory on the near east side of Cleveland, you have this Kozo garden where you're growing the raw materials for paper making? Yep, absolutely. And we're the only people doing this in the area that we know of. So it okay. has been experimental for us to see um, what best, best conditions um, we can provide for the Kozo so that it can grow as soon as possible and we can harvest again. Cool. Um, some of them are shooting up, they shoot up through their roots and grow so you can see how some of them are reproducing on their own as well so that's really exciting for us. Great. Well, and if you look back there we have the city of Cleveland so we have a wonderful view from the back of the Morgan, the old May Company building and yeah. a little Cleveland skyline. Terrific. How exciting. Well thank you so much Lauren. Yeah. Okay. Hi, so we're here with Deborah Rosen, and we're at uh, their TAP Studios, their Live Workspace, right here in the Loft Works building. That's right. And so, Deborah, this is your Live Space, right? The mm -hmm. Live part of your space? Okay, right. so tell us what we're looking at. Well, this is our second floor, and this is our living room area. Okay. And here's where we come and relax after a long day of working in our studio, okay. which is upstairs. Your studio is upstairs, mm -hmm. but yet you live down here. we live here. down here. So we have two different floors on the loft, in the loft building. Okay. We have a double level loft, exactly. Okay. With roof, so it's three. So you have a roof level as well. Uh-huh. Okay. So this is really just the living portion of your studio. Exactly. So right. let's go upstairs and see your work area. Now, what is really intriguing is this stairway. That leads us up to the other floor. A long stairway. Yes, fantastic. <laughs> so here we are on the rooftop of your live workspace. This is fantastic. Tell me about this space. Either one. <laughs> well, this is our rooftop here, and uh, Deborah grows a lot of greenery up here and some plants. So we kind of treat this as our backyard. Okay. Since we're in an urban neighborhood. We get out and use the metro parks a lot, but this is our everyday backyard where we come up in the early evenings to uh, to relax. And, and you're not the only one who relaxes here. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. So I see you've got a great view as well. Yeah, Cleveland yeah. is in the background. And wow. It's awesome. looking very cool back there. It does look very <laughs> cool. Well, thank you so much. This has just been a fantastic space to, to look at and to learn about. Thanks. This is Cool Cleveland correspondent Carol Drummond. Have a great week in Cool Cleveland.